REST APIs are a popular way of exchanging data over internet and extremely useful tool to learn for creating IoT projects. It involves a web resource providing a specific service via REST API interface. Your client can be a simple browser or a hardware such as Raspberry Pi, ESP32 or even another web server. Clients make HTTP request to the web resource at a known URL or endpoint. The resource responds with the desired information in JSON format over HTTP. In this project, I will show you how you can request a web resource with REST API interface using a Raspberry Pi running a Python code, ESP32 running C code, a web server running PHP code and a browser running JavaScript code. You will see these clients in action. All the sample codes are provided so that you can understand and build your next IoT projects with REST APIs. The beauty of REST API is summarized on the screen. Let's see a demo. For this demo, my laptop running a web server will act as the web resource with REST API. It is connected to Wi-Fi LAN with this IP address. This file in the public directory of web server is a REST API implemented in PHP. On my LAN, it is accessible via this URL. I have also uploaded it on Hello World server. You can access this API on internet with the same link by replacing the IP address with the domain name. The API for this demo is very simple and written in PHP in just 20 lines of code. It simply creates a 2D array with random values and convert the array in JSON format before sending it back to the client as response. The response is also written to a local text file so that we can see what is happening on the server. Now let's access this API with Raspberry Pi. This is remote of Raspberry Pi. The Python code makes a HTTP request and receives JSON response in this variable, which is decoded by this command and made available in form of a list. Now we can access the desired information and process it as per our requirement. So when I run the code, the server responds with this JSON data as can be seen in the text file in the server. Every time the HTTP request is made, server keeps responding with data as we can see. Now let's see how ESP32 works with this REST API. Let's power up ESP32 via laptop's USB so that we can see its activity on serial monitor. It's powered up, connected to Wi-Fi with this IP and made HTTP request to the REST API. The API responded with the JSON data, which is received by ESP32. The JSON data is processed and the desired information is extracted and printed. The code for ESP32 is written using Arduino IDE. The loop function calls the fetch data function every 15 seconds. Path of the web resource with REST API interface is provided here. Inside the fetch data function, we created a HTTP client object and using this object, HTTP requests are made. The JSON response is stored in this variable and decoded and converted back in a two-dimensional array. Now we can access the data in array elements and use it for our purpose. ESP32 keeps requesting data every 15 seconds and REST API keeps responding to the request. Most common way to access a URL is through a browser. Using a browser in a phone or laptop, we can directly access the URL of REST API and see the response. This is just a passive way of looking at the API response. In order to use and process this data, we need to grab this data via PHP or JavaScript code. This folder in public directory of web server contains PHP application to request data from REST API. This code can be placed in any other machine running a web server. Here, in just one line, we can request data from a remote URL. The JSON is decoded and converted back to a two-dimensional array. Now we can access the elements and process them. We can access this application through a browser. This is the output of this PHP script. 
every time the link is refreshed, the script pulls new data from the API as you can see. This folder contains a HTML file where JavaScript code is embedded to get the data from REST API and display the information. When this file is accessed via browser, the JavaScript code gets into action and starts pulling the data from REST API via AJAX calls. You can see the code activity on console by using this utility. In this case, the code needs to be in the same server where the API is due to same origin policy. I have used jQuery to make AJAX calls. This is the URL of REST API and this is the jQuery function to fetch data from the URL. Once the data is fetched, it is parsed and converted in an array. Now we can access the desired information and display it on the HTML elements. You can see different devices on the screen running code in different programming languages, simultaneously accessing the same REST API to get the information from a web resource. This is the advantage of using standardized JSON format over HTTP protocol, which is supported by all modern single board computers and microcontrollers. I have created and hosted some REST APIs and web applications on my website free of cost. You can access them by creating an account and logging in. This web application, also called Online Web Remote, can control the GPIOs of your Raspberry Pi. Both the web app and the Raspberry Pi make use of a REST API in server to give you an out-of-the-box service. Further, the web remote can also be integrated with your Google Assistant to control Raspberry Pi via voice commands. Next, I am going to extend this web remote for ESP32 microcontrollers. Stay tuned and visit this website for more information and updates on projects related to robotics, IoT and automation. Thanks for watching.